Welcome to my channel for Dandelions. My name is Mother D. Today we're gonna do some crafting and I have here a nine pocket letter. Empty. So today we're gonna fill it. Um I don't know what to fill it with. <laughs> Let's see what we have here all together. Mm. Mm. Let's do a Totoro team then. Let's see, I'm gonna push some things aside. Let me see, I have, uh, yeah, I have this one. These are sticky notes. So I'm gonna see if I can fit in the, I see there's some little specks. open it so what I need to do is find um, squared no rectangle pieces so I have to measure it and measuring is not my forte I like to go on you know to work on the go and not bother with all the little details so I'm gonna put the nine pocket that over the Sticky notes to see if they fit. They fit nicely. So I'm gonna find the colors. Mm, luckily, I have here a mini ruler. Oh, something almost fell from the table. Let's see. I have scissors. Yeah, I'm sorry, my table is kind of messy. That's because I have like four or five projects doing it at the same time sorry let me see oh yeah I'm trying to shake things off some things so I have this beautiful uh Soft colors, pastelli, summery colors. Let's see. I know that for sure. That I have only one um, sheet left from the yellow. So I, yeah, that's one. Oh, they kind of thick also. Mm, one hundred eighty yes, yeah, so, Okay. Let's see how we're gonna do it. Shall we do mix with the glitter or just? Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna do just fine with the normal pastelli color. So I'm looking for the let's do green and blue. I see there's a in between color. Yeah, there's an in between color of other kind of green. You see this difference. So I want for sure one orange, a pink. This one to wait. Is there a purple one? Strange, the purple almost resembles the pink one. Mm. There are nine pockets. Do it in half, so that I need four colors. So I have two here: the orange and the pink, and the green and the blue. Yeah, I can I can manage that. So I'm gonna grab each sheet out. Oh, I should have bought more. You got only two. Two sheets, two color. Mm. <laughs> Um, two sheets per color. That's kind of... That's not enough. Let me see. Can I grab two at the same time? No, I can't. Do it one by one. I don't want to rip it. Oh, there you get it. I ripped it in two. See? 
Oh no. Um. There's a light green, and the other one was the bit darker. I'll do the bit darker. Oh, I've ripped it, see? Now it's in two pieces. Well, three pieces. Never mind. Well, the project I did previously, I have not finished yet. So, oh, something fell. So, I'm going to show it to you. Ta-da! I still have to write the name here. There's this pussycat. And it's passed on the D of dreams. And, oh, I did not put um, double-sided tape, but in foam. Do a little piece so the person can take it off. This beautiful sticker. I have to write here a sticky note that you can take the... A butterfly off. Oh. Still need to manage to find something here to uh, put in there and put in here also. Maybe I can write a little piece of uh, colored paper and it's right here extra or goodies or stickers. And you saw that this is vellum paper and the uh, coloring sheet. Uh, pattern paper so and then more goodies and then here is supposed to be a stamp that I found on Aliexpress like I said I, found, I want to put a yellow piece of color and then stamp this on but the problem is that yellow piece of color that I had in mind has some kind of uh, pattern on it and you it's hard to stamp it beautifully on that because the finish on the paper is like kind of um, stamp ink repellent. <laughs> so, I don't know. I have to figure out how to do that. So this is actually the one that I almost finished. I'm not done yet. Oh, everything's falling out. Okay, so I have to find out... The exact measurements. I don't have to do it exactly because the little piece of paper that goes here inside this like here. You have here opening. I can stick my finger in there. Um, is there something else that I can put in? Uh, no, there's nothing here that match that. Wait, let me do a metal die. Oh, I'm also stamping some die cuts out. So, this is, this is a metal die and I can see I've left a, I've left a piece of paper here. I didn't take it out, so. So see? So, for example, if I uh, run um, the metal die through the die cutting machine, this die cutting machine, then I could have put some in here. And as you can see, I need the measurement like this to put as a background and the die cut. So, you can see this is a metal die, but I mean the die cut that I can t um, run through the die cutting machine and put it in here like a background. So the piece of paper that is here behind this must not be exactly because it's too snug. The reason why I don't want to be too snug here in the back because when I've, when I've put all the decorations, so I put the background and the decorations in front, then if I turn around, 
I need to put some goodies inside here also. That's the reason why the paper, the background paper, can't be too snug on the sides. It's hard to take the background paper out. So that's why I have to do that. Let's see. So, let's see. Six and a half. But it's 180. Just, um, mm, I can do it for less, like 6.4. Uh, Yeah, 6.4 is the best. I have some little bit of wiggly room, wiggle room, but I can also do it like this. I'll do the 6.4 and then another 6.4 without cutting in half. So I can have like a, some kind of folder or file. I can do that too. Hmm. See, there are so many options now. Well, I have to figure it out first. I have to cut for all these four colored paper. I need to cut them in rectangles to have, like I said, the background. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that in my own time, but I'm gonna edit it out so you can see the fast forward bit. Let's do that. Cut with a die cutting machine. No, no. Correction. Paper cutting machine or the guillotine. That's this uh, setup. And I've measured the paper. I needed like 6.4. And I decided to have one uh, folded up. So that means I have, I need like 12.8 centimeters. Like this. Oh, other way up, upside down. Here. 
Yeah, 12.8. 12.8. So if it's in inches, I don't know how to do it in inches. I'm not, I'm not English or American. Hmm. Well, if you can see it for yourself, it's like, what? One, two, three, four, five point and almost five, but not exactly. It's still a little bit. So, you can, you can try to do it yourself, uh, measuring it yourself, but like I said, I, that's, that's not my favorite thing, <laughs> measuring. So this is the paper that I've cut already. The other strip that was here, that was alongside, I already cut it. That is the other uh, part that I can use for something else. So, like I said, this groups everything's from it's from this paper. I've already folded it in half, so I can grab my. My pocket lid and the opening is up and then the fold it in half the paper. I'm gonna do it like this. Oh. Like that. You see? So it is not stuck, there's still uh, space left, but like I said, you're gonna put some goodies inside here. So that's why that's the reason why I didn't want to do it exactly. Because when you do it exactly, it's hard to take the the whole folder or file. I call it file or folder. It's hard to take it out, so that's why I left a little bit on the left side and on the right side of the pocket. So now I have to measure it here up, where to cut that. I can do it even below the line, so it's easier. To grab it and pull it up so my thing is now how to because it's gonna be folded uh, can I leave it like that so I can put the goodies in here so for example this I've cut this in rings for example so imagine this is uh, sticker flags or small stickers you put it inside and then put it here in the spot like so, so it's of course I've cut it here beautifully, so I can then take the whole thing out, even with the goodies inside. But I can also do it like this: grab a uh, washi tape. I need the, this little piece, and then the washi tape that I have, I fold it in half here. So a little piece, I fold it in half. And then put it one here, half in here, uh, fold it up. So the other half is glued on this side of paper so that you, wait, if I lift the whole thing out of the pocket, like that, lift it out, it won't fall from the bottom down. So that is a thing that you can do, use a piece of washi tape or use any kind of paper I would rather use not this one because it's kind of thick use a little bit of uh, thinner and use then here a small piece of paper and glue it on this side and on that side and then that piece of paper that you fold it in here you can do it as an alternative for the washi tape if you don't like to use washi tape so that's the same principle that you can do or, like I said, just leave it as it is, so you can open it and uh, the person that gets the snail milk can cut it, um, him or herself here, this half out, so he or she can have then two separate pieces of colored paper and use it for their advantage, for their crafting. So it's like recycling. <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's the thing you can you don't you can keep it for yourself all the things that you sent a person, a fellow crafter, or you can just recycle everything that you get and then 
we gift it or repurpose it to an, another person. So, like I said, um, I wanted here a small piece of paper and then put then one sticky note in there. So, so what I can do is just uh, do it as it is, and the person can use this him or sell him or herself. But uh, I've noticed that the adhesive on the back of the sticky note, once you've pulled uh, one piece out, it won't stick anymore. But that person can use his or own his or her own double-sided tape or glue and put it on the bullet journal or whatever it is. So I, I'd rather not stick it uh, my own glue on the back. You see? Yeah, so I'm gonna fill this up and I have now like folded already three of them. I need to fold four. So the thing is here, I can do it like, because there are nine pockets, I can do it, like in a mix, a beautiful mix, and then put it in the pockets, and like I said, decorate it and all. So let's do that. So I'm going to fast forward it. You won't see the cutting and measuring. So let's do that. <laughs> 